Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and let's just get on into it. Hey, family, how y'all doing? Hopefully, y'all weekend was wonderful. Okay, but we're going to get into this soft uh, episode. And I'm saying soft because I don't want to say boring. Because a lot of us, not me, but a lot of us didn't want to see a lot of hoopla, hollering, fussing, fighting, cussing, all that stuff on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So that's why we definitely have um what can i call it we have we thought we was getting a full meal but we just got an appetizer with a little salad thrown to the side because this was some poor bullshit okay poor bullshit but we gonna start off first by saying y'all remember when portia had a tea party for baby brooklyn and she went all out I don't know if it was ten or fifteen thousand. What can you pay on Baby Girl Brooklyn's party? But this show has already been taped, right? And uh, Baby Girl PJ just had her birthday, so I wonder who dropped dime and let Portia know, or let Portia knew that she was going to be giving a lavish tea party at some uh, museum or art place. She rented out the space. Uh, can you? Um, event planner and they did a very nice job but again i'm gonna say to all of my rich friends and this that and third i don't know if y'all just living out your own fantasy or what y'all really would have wanted when y'all were little or whatever but the kids would have did better just having all little kids stuff i mean perfect example of a cute birthday party was um wait let me see how did y'all tell me to pronounce his name was it davidu uh no, oh, I wrote it down too. A uh, Davito. Um uh, Y'all know where I'm going with it. Alright. But he threw an excellent oh, I won't even really give him the credit because it's always women who going over and above for their children and doing the uh decorating and making sure everything is aesthetically pleasing to their children's eyesight and that it is something that their girlfriends can talk about and try to emulate somewhere down the road but Haley uh was her name and it's um that uh, music rapper guy uh uh da vito or vito or something like that i know my family gonna kick me behind because i can't remember y'all i can't remember i had wrote it down on a piece of paper and i had just came from looking at the real housewives of atlanta and i don't know what i did with my paper or my notes when y'all be telling me stuff i had to write this shit down i'd be don't forget it i'd be don't forget it y'all so charge it to my head not my heart okay because i don't like people messing up people's names i don't like nobody messing up my name depends on what frame of mind i am in you know and who's doing it uh that i may find offense but if it's family members, I don't give a shit. You know, y'all know who I, I know who I am to y'all. Y'all know who y'all are to me. So it just is what it is. You get 54, you walk in my shoes sometime, you'll see where I'm going through. I can't remember everything, every detail, okay? Only the shit that trips me out and it just stay, had stapled in my mind that I, I can't forget that shit, okay? But anyway, going back, the reference I was making was between... A birthday party that Kenya, uh, not Kenya, yeah, Kenya and Portia had threw for their little girls. Uh, a little bit too much, I think, over the top. Something I think they would have appreciated if they were seven or eight years old. You know, if they were still in that tea, par- tea uh, party setting. But for somebody that's three years old, girl, <laughs> and, and real silverware, that they can probably can't hold up. You know, because their little hands are so, you know, tiny still or whatever. But it is what it is. Kenya supposedly, allegedly 
paid ten to fifteen thousand for that extravaganza of a birthday party for a baby girl three year old birthday. But the shame shameless plug that I had to say was basically how did Drew Sedora come up with uh, trying to emulate Kenya and I think that first birthday party she threw for baby girl Brooklyn and Portugal there you know I was, was like a little doll scene or something to that effect because both babies were still holding sucking a uh, breast milk from their mom if they did breastfeed hell I can't remember but it is what it is but you know again it was over the top it wasn't really about them it was about you know the mothers but it, it is what it is okay everybody can't live in that uh barn lifestyle like i was or with my daughter because that's what she really loves and stuff like that okay nobody be like can and just take their kids on to uh disney world disneyland and let them do whatever let them have that let have you know what i'm saying just have a big ass backyard with just colorful stuff uh the primary colors are very eye-catching and just let them children have you know what i'm saying because it's about them and the children ain't about nothing about the adults and all that shit Plus she had wine and and all kinds of alcohol at her daughter's birthday party in kenya she had all kinds of um people cussing and carrying on saying candy was sucking dick um Ralph, which is uh, Drew's door boyfriend, was gay. I mean, it was bringing me back, like, play scenes I've seen before with other people. You know, Kim Fields, and I think Kenya had said her husband was gay. I like, okay, wait a minute, hold up. Haven't we got into a world of society where gayness is accepted? So what kind of pun or what kind of infraction or what kind of uh, dig was that? You know, okay, is he gay? Okay, now it'll be a, a different thing if Drew don't know her husband is gay allegedly, and she's with a gay man. You know what I'm saying? A beard is what they call them, where they try to be. They know who their mate it really is, but they just keep it for appearances' sake. I think that's what they call a beard. Uh, but anyway, um, it you know just the hurl of insults was just too much, too piss poor, too much foolishness, fakery, fraudulent, fuckery activity going on in this episode, and I was like, okay. Gay, it, it doesn't matter if you're gay anymore. The world has accepted that, okay? So what kind of harm or or, 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 or shade you think you're throwing? You know what I'm saying? On the shade would be that Drew don't know that she's messing with a gay man, a down low man. And then she need to rectify that situation. If he want to be gay, that's what he want to do. And you're not accepting of it, get a divorce. Fuck it. Get a move on. You know what I'm saying? But we just going to go about what I really want to talk about, you know, because it was, again, like I said, the majority of the people didn't want to see the ratchetness. They ain't want to see the fighting and cussing and carrying on. So, that, you know, they they switched it up on us, okay? So, it's like you could really look at this picture with your, your, your children. You know, what I mean? you know what I'm saying? It's almost like PG friendly. All right? And so, basically, the first scene I'm going to talk about, because the rest of it is really a blur, because it, it really didn't get me. You know, I was here and there. I was like out and in, in and out. Get from over there, boy. Jay, get from over there. And so, put your toys, honey. Okay, he always be in my room when I'm taping. But anyway, um, yeah, we're going to talk about Candy and Todd. I'm like, I don't know if this is really a fictitious type storyline they're giving me. But I'm like, I'm I'm damn tired of looking at it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Tiny Todd, Tim, Tam, what is his name? Tiny Todd, tickle me down. Okay, sit your ass down somewhere. Acting like a, a, a emanated character that I need to name for you. Whew, child, you just so, where is Mama Joyce? That's what I need. Mama Joyce need to be on your ass day, night, sunshine, rain, winter, spring, summer, fall. Okay, that's where she need to be all the way up on your ass. Who oh, can you, how did you marry this bum? He's a bum. I can't take him anymore. I mean, I've been telling y'all about Todd. He just tickled me fancy and he just want to play this role. But he really going to take Candy for all she got. In the very end, once that contract end or whatever he signed on that prenup, we're really going to see his light. He's going to come to light for us, okay? He's in the darkness now, trying to go between the shadows here and there. But then, hey, he see that tunnel, that light, and he's going to be out. Because, like I said, as long as Candy got that shit on lock, it's, it's better. Because Rod already knew. I knew Rod knew. And she said, I ain't finna be a part of this bullshit. I'm going off to college. I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to have my own revenue. Because I can't see you, mama, getting taken advantage of this little nut right like, here that you call your husband. You your best friend but it all came to light today now like i said i'm just looking at it from what the optics that they're giving me and i'm gonna make my observation on it okay because i ain't living with them i don't see the comings and goings and i don't know what's fake or what's real but when you show me on tv i'm gonna make my opinion candy drop this egg girl go into the sunset without him because he is low-key shade jealous of you 
he jealous of you he thinks that you supposed to set him up with opportunities set you set him up with deals and y'all supposed to be making money but when you start doing stuff on your own with your agent or your 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 agent for acting uh man got you looking at different roles different things you could be a part in and they strictly just trying to line your pockets and theirs as well so they can get their 10 or 20 percent how much are you paying them they trying to look out for you because you've made it known and you've definitely been doing the right steps trying to get into this acting field and you can see yourself blowing up but you know what you got a hater on your team you got a hater you got an enemy sleeping in your bed you don't know him you don't know him you don't know him but he's showing his colors left right front and center mama joyce was right okay how I got up the same well. I want some for myself. <laughs> like, oh really? Toddy Tim Todd, sit your ass down. You never wanted to be true to yourself. You never would come from under the shadows because you know Candy has made, bought you, and put you in position. And you don't want to play. You tired of warming the bench. You want to get in the game, but you don't have the criteria. You don't have the skills. And you're not nobody in her world. Do you see what I'm saying? Todd, you a background person. You're in the back and you will always be seen that way. And I don't know why Candy trying to sugarcoat it for you or shade you from that truth but him over here we're gonna give it to you like we're gonna give it to you straight up with no chaser drink it brother drink it go get your own thing like aaron hall or uh, sonya's husband doing he he couldn't play no more so he had to think of other revenue streams and his position that he had with who he know out there from being a part of an elite team you know he was in the nfl or whatever he going out there make it do what it do and he says when somebody take it and break it down, he'll build it back up. That was his saying. And I, I, I'm, I'm with that brother. He, like, he ain't finna shine on his um, wife. He ain't finna do nothing, take no shine from her. He gonna go get his own. Okay? Because at the end of the day, you came in the world by yourself. And you damn sure gonna leave by yourself. Okay? So... In between all that living, then you make it good while you're here on this planet of existence. I think he's a very good dad. I think he's a very good husband. From what I'm seeing now, I'm just looking at the optics that they're showing me. I don't personally know these people. You know that how it goes, okay? So don't come at me talking. Well, you don't know. You you damn right. I don't know. But I got an opinion and it's going to be made, okay? Because I brought out the format. I brought out the channel. And I, okay, wanted to have like-minded people to come over here and have a decent conversation with me and i built my family over here at youtube okay but what i was trying to say that to say this was todd showed his dairy ass tonight okay he's been showing it but no people nobody wanted to bring it out they said oh no they're a power couple they just said no todd is a low-key hater okay he wants to be out in front he wants people to know uh who he is what he does and he wants to shine out from candy because you know what candy even said i her own mouth she said you were trying to block me from a position where what you were doing you didn't want me to be a producer on it. i said okay girl you ain't dumb you ain't dumb okay all right you just let let him have and you observe and then when you get your opportunity to check him you the checkmate so okay you ain't playing oh no you over there playing checkers i mean i mean you playing chess okay but sometimes i find you playing checkers with him because you want to stroke his ego you don't want him to feel bad because he over there whining to you ain't no real man gonna be whining to you they're gonna be going out there so okay I, I didn't do this right. Let me let me back up. Let me rethink my uh, protocol, my scheme, my uh, my flow of how I want to go attack this thing again. If it's meant for me to be, I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna keep doing it until it, until it comes into fruition. But now Todd wants to sit there and do what he want to do. He want to file a candy. He want to play. I, I've never. I got. Oh, child, what burns me up is a woman that's reckless and lose everything for a man. And when a man sit there and try to demean a woman because he don't have them. The two worstest things that, ooh, child, that gets my grits boiling. You know what I'm saying? Get my grits boiling. I'll be ready to throw them on somebody. You know what I'm saying? I'll be ready to throw the grits hot, spalling mad on somebody. But it's just what it is. But, yeah, that's what we got. Um, And then, uh, what's the name? Tiny Tim Todd. He tried to tell... Uh, 
Well, first he interrupted a meeting that uh, a Skype meeting or a Zoom call Candy was having with her acting manager and stuff, trying to get her gigs and get her more out there in in society and in that entertainment Hollywood role life. And Todd just gonna come in and you know make his presence known, like he wanted to see who she would talk to. Now, how how insensitive and unprofessional is that? You know what I'm saying? Do, would Candy come in now and be all over your shoulder trying to see who you talking to and get into the conversation? You would think that's very rude of her. And you would probably have a conversation with her on air and off of air. You know? Trying to make her belittle her and make her feel bad because she did such a thing. Which was, you know, unprofessional. She shouldn't have done that. But we talking about you. You doing this shit. I, like, I don't understand why men or some men I should say. Because I don't want to generalize. They can't handle their wives uh what do you call it um success they can't understand why she gets what she gets and i'm like that's a part of your world did you not know that toddy tim uh toddy todd did you not small man thinking todd did you not understand that when she builds you have the family have or Oh, y'all still that doing that cut 50, 50, 50, 30, 58. What, what are y'all doing, okay? Because I quite don't understand that. And I'm going to have to get off this subject in a few minutes because it's really bothering me like I really know these people. And I just want to slap the shit out of Todd. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, I can't stand a man who runs up a, a woman's ass just to uh, be able to see what she's doing, how she's doing it. So he can use that and try to do his own thing one day. You see what I'm saying? So I'm saying, Candy, watch him. Y'all need to separate y'all business dealings. Let this man do what he going to do and you do what you got to do. You don't need him. You need him to take care of them kids. Why are you making that money? Unless you want to show and prove and go out there and do something. Because I'm still, I promise you, I'm still looking for that trailer tractor company, which I think don't went belly up. I think one of my family members told me it went belly up. He couldn't even get that to fruition. Then he got the old lady gang, you know, without a generator over there because he feels that he don't need to uh, uh, partake in this. That makes me think Candy is putting it on your ass to buy that generator and she's not, it's not coming out of her purse. It's coming out your wallet. So you decide, I'm not going let it happen so see that's <laughs> let me get on off that subject because you know oh boy boy oh boy okay but we're gonna go with kenya no we don't want to talk about kenya i don't talk about kenya no more she did what she had to do she sat the trap and every west one of them fell into the bottom pit of it and she just sit and laugh at them she set the tone she did that little foolish game and real feelings came out because somebody wrote in there i'm like kenya did you do that girl did you do that bravo bravo because you got candy looking every kind of which way and ain't nobody confessing that she sucked dick allegedly in the locker room we never brought that for, to fruition because candy just shit i mean candy just shut shit down so i'm like can you had your hand in that shit didn't you? <laughs> bravo girl bravo but if candy ever find out she gonna cut you dry she gonna cut you dry girl and you know with candy doing what she do and being showing and proving if she's golden child over there i wouldn't try to cross her kenya nah, i wouldn't try to mess up my money girl but you know I know you can handle it, so I'm going to get off you. Then we got this old foolishness with uh, Sheree and Drew. Child, I'm like, ooh, don't put your hands on Sheree's face. That's invading her private space. That's invading her barrier that she have. Because people don't need people unless it's your man or your woman getting up in your face and they want to kiss and hug and all this. That and third, that's acceptable. That's pleasing. Okay? But if you're trying to get up there and throw them hands, like, you you know, that's a threat. That's, you know, you're you invading their privacy. You're in their safe zone. And when you come over there in that, they, they fighting. It's either fight or flight. You know what I'm saying? Fight or flight. That's all psychology. But it will get you hurt if you come a little bit too close because they feel they need to protect themselves. All right? So, Drew, that was piss poor. You're not dealing with somebody in high school, baby, or elementary. You're dealing with grown-ass women. They got shit to lose. Okay? And I'm thinking, she was like, ooh. Okay, well, she stepped in my thing i was trying to figure that out so if she really struck me that'll be like uh i was defending myself so i could get off with bail and not face any other uh assault charges you know that's how i see sheree's probably playing it out in her head you know what i'm saying but baby girl ain't no fool now she might get them hands on your behind but, you know though she you know ain't nobody like porsche because when porsche fits strikes she's just like a snake you don't got too far too close and you don't got her fear and something so she got to strike on you okay because uh porsche is about them hands every day all day
And her mom even told her, if you're going to get a fight or get into a fight, you better make sure you win. And she's pretty much have, really, now, so what she said in Portia, uh, the pursuit of Portia, if you don't believe me, go and get the book and read it. She said, uh, her mama told her, if you're going to get in a fight, you better make sure you win or just leave the shit alone, okay? I'm like, oh, really, really, really? Diane's saying some shit like that and she can't even face Mama Gina. Woo, boy, the insults, the, uh, the insults, the insults. But then we got all, oh, let's see, let's see. Um, hey, that's pretty much it, y'all. They, they, they didn't really give us anything. They just, they didn't really give us anything. Uh, and, and I know Candy still wanted to get that Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony. The EGOT is what they're saying. And she may be on her way of doing such a thing. Because I think she's being illuminated. If anybody knows what that means. Uh, but it is what it is. You don't, you'll figure it out one day, okay? Then we might have a conversation about it. But other than that, we ain't gonna talk about it. Um, yeah, that's how it was. And uh, I'm like, Kenya, don't be bringing, I'm with Marla on this one now. Don't be bringing no white folks, no Indians, no Asians, nobody that can't handle a black folk conversation, okay? A black woman's conversation, too, when they pissed off about something. Keep them away from your, uh, what do you call it, circle. Now, if you thought these women was, especially when you threw a, a game, a shady game, and you think these women was not going to have, let have, and, and, and get on whoever the ass they need to get on, shame on you. Shame on you, Kenya. But I know you didn't really care about that lady because you had three more white ladies, and they were just sitting there just drinking up everything. Like, ooh, I thought I was, uh, they probably saying, I thought our Caucasian race was uh, a mess. But, whoo hoo these uh, successful black women. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't got nothing on us. They act just like those ratchet. And see, that's why I can I can understand. I like the ones that were there still, but that other white woman with all this stuff, like she was just prim and proper, and probably wasn't damn but a damn housewife. Okay, cause she looked basic. How they call her basic bitch? She looked below that. Okay, so I'm like, girl, get her out of here. I can't take it. Take, get, get her tax or Uber. Send her ass on her way. Okay, who and let her baby girl stay? Cause see, like her baby girl was having a good time <laughs> running around with the rest of them black kids. Okay, but that's it. What is it? They learn this shit from. Uh, home anyway but uh yeah i mean that was pretty much it you know we finally got a uh, chance to see my yellow shawl she wasn't as all dressed up and flamboyant as i used to see her you know all you know cool calm and collected and you just partying and everything kind of she kind of came in looking kind of boring she wasn't dressed for the part but like she said she was doing something else with the boys and she just wanted to show up show out drop the gift off and you know uh, be presented on TV a little bit here and there, but yeah, honey, ladies, uh, men, that, that's all we had. We, you know, like, we don't even want to talk about that gym scene. And that should never film that with Sheree and Marlo coming over there thinking she's going to uh, exercise with uh, Sheree. And that was a piss poor scene too, because I was like, what the hell going on, Sheree? Why are you going to the gym when you already have a a, a body built for the goddesses out there girl you know what it is i'm like girl you could have got something else then you got that old fake phony phone call uh from your man is supposed to be up in jail uh trans uh what is he doing you know is he is he assimilated now is he back out is he on the street baby because I'm talking about can he can you meet can he meet you in New York? Is he still on parole, baby? Is he is he still in the halfway house trying to get out? Cause hell no, I would have told you no, he can't meet you. Cut that scene. He had the dog drooling and shit. What kind of sin? What kind of bullshit was that they gave us? I'm like fire the editors. They didn't let this fire them because they're. Oh, it was just a hell of a show, and I mean for the negative, okay? But the parts that I did talk about, I was cool with. I was cool with it. It gave me a little chuckle here and there. It kind of, you know, got me into my feelings a little bit. Because I, I don't like women that are successful, and then they got their sorry-ass men trying to clam off of them. Or they they say they ain't trying to clam off, but they making all, all kinds of excuses and shit. I'm like, God damn, Candy, could you not have somebody like Apollo? He, you know, he wasn't trying to get off on page. You're just doing some scamming shit and got him just got his ass in trouble might need to send Apollo to school <laughs> and learn him a trade and learn him how to go legit but uh yeah he no oh, I just um I'm, I'm not liking Todd again I, I knew it I, he, he, I knew it I knew it was gonna happen I knew it was gonna happen you know I'll try to give him the benefit of the doubt try to forget what mama Joy's saying in the streets in her word in her world 
My daughter ain't shit. He still ain't shit. It ain't gonna be shit. That's pretty much what she was saying. But we didn't believe. We ain't believe him. Nah, not one hundred percent. We we you know because sometimes Mama Joyce been in them gray areas. <laughs> she, she be out there way out there by herself, and you know we still want to acknowledge her, but we we ain't up for the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But hey, Mama Joyce, she she pretty much right. She pretty much right. And they don't been together long enough for Todd to help assume the position. Of he know he's going to be behind his wife. This is what it is, okay? Or he was going to assume a position where he's going to go get his own. You know, because they have assistants. They have maids. They have sir. Hell, they have a family to watch uh, the babies for her while she go do what she got to do. Hell, Beyonce can do it. She can do it too. Hell, you know what I'm saying? Beyonce always have her children with her. Ride or dies, you know what I'm saying? But okay, of course, um, Candy don't have Beyonce's money, her time and her talent. But you know, she's she's trying to do, she's trying to make it do what it do. She's trying to move and shake in different arenas because I do think she knows her time has come. Uh, where she's gonna have to get out of the Real Housewives of Atlanta pool and let other people come in. She definitely did a fantastic job with assuming the position and, and making it do what it do. She don't get me wrong. Now she was born on the show. But, you know, she prevailed here and there. She's been definitely using the money stream and the platform in the correct way. Advertise, advertise, advertise. Get, meet people. Make, uh, uh, form bridges where you can cross over to other different avenues of the entertainment business. Which she definitely solidified herself doing that by working in the shy, by taking over Ellen's show, being a host here and there, uh, going doing radio talk. Uh, just a whole lot of things. I see her trying to move in the right directions, which is going to continue to garner her money. But as long as you have an enemy on your team that's sleeping in your bed. Candy, you can best believe some downfalls are going to behold you, okay? Because you got that evil spirit next to you. Instead of him being with you, it seems like he's just being against you, uh, uh, and want other people to come against you as well. But you know that's your your show. That's your total hole or your hold the road. However they say it, y'all know where I'm going. Uh, you got to figure that one out on yourself. So what we say as, as bloggers or YouTubers may not hit home with you until you actually, or he actually does something. And then you have to fall back and say, okay, they did tell me right. My mama did tell me right. But, you know, maybe you already know you're just trying to play cool uh, until that prenup gets uh, uh, looked at again because he done got to the years he needed to get. And then he's giving you subtle hints. That he's not happy with the situation that he is in, okay? But he, hey, if he ain't happy with you, he ain't gonna be happy without you. Just let that ego go, okay? That's what I'm saying. Better to have somebody with you in the business that is growing, that's well known, and don't want your help because they already are who they are and they are cool with who they are and who you are. See, Todd wasn't like that. He was always in the background, he wasn't the person that's being seen. So, that's pretty much all I had on this season of episode three um season 14 yeah i don't forgot what the thing was she to be served i think basically a plan off of baby brooklyn's birthday is what we were doing okay she was so cute i like what y'all jerking up dressing like little new yorkers little society women and the arts and stuff i like that i like that um she kind of gave me the tease kenya gave me the tease of audrey hepburn oh uh, and i guess um uh, brooklyn was the baby uh, Audrey Hepburn. Hell, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Maybe it's just me talking. Do anybody agree the same thing? To agree with me with that? Uh, what Kenya was trying to um, do with her dressing, attire, her outfit, and what she was trying to do with Baby Girl Brooklyn? Because uh, she was just giving me like a uh, socialite in the art field, uh, being maybe a reporter, or what do you call that person? Um, the um, the the devil in the in the boot. What is that? The Prada. Hey, y'all know what I'm talking about. Prada in the Blue Drip. I can't remember, but it was a show or it was a movie out there. Uh, Prada in a red dress or something. I don't know. But anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about if y'all keep thinking about it, okay? But I'm going to go ease my mind, ease my head, and get off this video, okay? Because I was really pissed with Todd. I really was pissed. But uh, I'll see y'all next video, guys. Bye-bye.